Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. To remove the grill, there are four push clips on the top. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to pry them up and unlock them. Both sides. Use a trim clip tool. So kind of pry on them a bit. Sometimes they take a little bit of force to get them to unclip. There are two clips on either side of the grill. They're kind of hidden. You can get to them. You'd access the clips through here to release them on either side. Ours are broken. They actually clip through the headlights. So without those in place, there's some, the bottom of the grill clips to the top of the bumper. You just kind of slide it out. You may need to slide a screwdriver in there and just push the lock tabs in. But this one's pretty loose, so it came right out. One of the horns is located behind the grill. The other one is down below the bumper. They both can be removed in a similar fashion. There's a 12 millimeter bolt. I'm using a 12 millimeter socket extension and ratchet. I'll loosen that up. Take the horn out. You need to unplug it from the connector. Push it in the lock, pull the connector out, just like that. This one here is the high tone. The low tone is down behind the bumper. You just plug it back in, the lock when it's in place, put it right back up where it was mounted, reinstall the bolt. These are the clips and brackets that are supposed to be mounted on the back of our grill. It's broken on both sides, but they would clip into here on the headlights on both sides and help hold the grill in. You don't 100% need them, but if you have yours, you can clip them back in. These clips on the bottom of the grill are gonna go underneath this lip. Push it down like that. Slide it up under that lip into place. And put the push clips back in place. The grill is back in place. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.